Um, hi everyone, my name's Olivia and I also study at QHS. Um, I'm a sixth form student as well. I study graphic design, business and photography and obviously arts award as well. Um, I picked these subjects because it like fitted me and I'm not a big fan of like maths and English and everything. Um, I am more of an art student and um, you know like my family is really creative as well. Um, yeah I just I want to do like I want to be like an interior designer when I grow up so I think these were like the best options. I think it's been quite a shock because obviously we were so used to like learning in the classroom and like you know a couple of years back we would never think we'd be sitting at home like learning you know just like not being able to just ask your teacher like who's in the room like can I have help you have to like email them and I don't know I did find it really difficult but I'm starting to get used to it now and um, I can't wait to get back to school oh, like it's changed massively definitely and um, personally it's made me feel like in a sense like less confident to ask for help because it's like you know emailing and like messaging and it's just I think they've done the best they can our teachers and I think they have really put an effort into trying to you know keep it like as normal as possible but for me personally I think it was just been hard to like you know like oh I'm struggling with this because I feel like you can't explain it as well. And, you know, they can't like, like our teacher, Mr. Pym can't show us like personally what we want to be able to see. He's got to write down an email. And I just think sometimes it can just, the messages can just get mixed up. But I think it's changed a lot, but I really think our school have done the best they can. Um, but yeah, just a massive change. just I think feeling more relaxed because sometimes in the classroom you can feel a bit stressed just being able to like relax in your own like kind of safe space I guess and um, because sometimes people can find school quite uh, in intimidating <laughs> um, definitely graphics because I feel like it's not changed as much I feel like you can still like create the work you want to create. Um, whereas like business, like it's mostly like not essays, but it's like a lot of written work and a lot of coursework. Whereas graphics, it's still like you're doing what you like in a sense, and you can still put your own like spin on other people's artwork. So definitely graphics. So I have really pushed myself um, these past couple of like months just to do more like like digital drawing. Um, so I got an iPad in like the pencil like stylus for Christmas. Um, so I also got the app Procreate. It's just like um, like a digital drawing app and it's quite free. So I've been like, um, I don't know if it's okay for me to just hold it up to the screen, but um, I've got a couple. I've also sent them in an email where I've just like, just been like experimenting with like kind of line drawings. Um, and this is a photo I took of my sister for our movement uh, project on, in photography. Um, I was quite proud of that because it was something very like, you know, out there. Um, obviously like learning new like settings on the camera. Definitely, because it's like, you know, you're like pushing yourself to just like be creative and just like take a step out of your like comfort zone, which I've definitely done. And, you know, like you can make mistakes, but they could be good mistakes. And Mr. Pym definitely told me that like during graphics, like something can go on, but it can look like really good. So like you wouldn't really class it as a mistake, but, you know, just definitely experimenting. I've found it and it's helped me a lot through lockdown especially this like lockdown, just like, just pushing myself and just taking like 20 minutes to just draw and just see where it takes me.
Yeah, I de- oh, definitely. Just with everything, you know, the news, it's just like brings you down so much. So just being in your own space and just being able to just do what you like, just, you know, maybe put some music on. Definitely a great ex- es- escape. <laughs> For, obviously for everyone it's been really hard but like students I feel like have felt it quite a bit as well because obviously we're trying to like adapt to everything and then you know get our school work in on time and you know like life still moves on like you know people moving house people just you know people have been dying and stuff I know that's a really think like sad thing to say but you know people families and obviously sometimes I just wake up in the morning and just think oh like I've got to go like to a full day of lessons and it's just not what I want to do. Um, so definitely just being more understanding and I think just giving us like time sometimes. I feel like with doing like four subjects, obviously it's not as many as like GCSE, but you get a lot more work. I sometimes get like work set for the same day and I stress about it because it's so many different subjects all in for one day and I'm thinking oh I'm gonna have to ask for more time and obviously no one wants to really do that to keep on top of subjects you know you just want to like chill and just take your time with it especially with an art subject as well because you want it to look like perfect and maybe just across all subjects just like better communication I think and because obviously business and art they're totally different but I could have an essay in for the same day as I have like a piece of work in and it can be really stressful and it can make you not want to do the work I just want to quickly say that like just giving like everyone time and giving yourself time to just even if you do have something due in like just give yourself time it doesn't matter if it gets in one day late like if you need that time for yourself like for your mental health as well like take the time 